So we're now going to talk about finding the domain in the range of functions. And these are just two different terms in order to talk about different aspects of a relationship or a function. Okay, so domain is what we going to be the possible x values of a function. And the range is just the same thing but with the y values. Okay, the easiest way I have to remember this is they actually come alphabetically. So d comes before r, x comes before y. So when you're thinking about domain, x comes first. Thinking about range, y comes second. So there's that sort of alphabetical representation that helps me remember it. If you have another way or if you just have a memory, go ahead and remember the way you can. Let's take an example. Okay, so here we have set F, set of three different points. Okay, and we're asked to find the domain. So domain is going to be a set of numbers. Okay, and the domain corresponds to the x values. So here we have the x value, 1 from this point, 3 from this point, and 5 from this point. So put those together, and that makes our domain, 1, 3, and 5. Doing the same idea for the range, except range is going to correspond to the y values. So we look at our y values and figure out which y values are represented, 2, 4, and 6. So just an easy way to talk about different aspects of a relationship. Domain is the x values, y's range is the y values.